I'm not where I'm supposed to be But there's so much noise around So much noise around Constantly fighting for space I wanna be empty Be empty Be empty Hi Gemini, welcome to my channel. We're doing a reading. How are you? Um, before we start, um, we're going to be using the Gilded Tarot right here and the Rider Waite. Both are in the description box if you need to know what it is. Um, make sure you follow me on Instagram. I upload there on IGTV, um, Daily Zodiacs, Aries to Pisces, and then also um, Daily Tarot is going to be there. It's ahead of YouTube, so if you like to watch Tarot, I'm always there. I also pick, okay, if you comment there on the pictures and then it's like I just choose random, um, you know, people to read and then I just do it there, okay? So if you are uh, whoever needs uh, guidance, okay? Now we're going to be, of course, always using Vedic Sidereal Astrology and at the same time, I'm not Western, okay? And if we see the Wheel of Fortune, we do... Um, uh, do transit prediction in the extended. Um, the July uh, monthlies are already up, so check that out. Let's begin, Gemini. Here we go. Let's see if I'm a Gemini. Let's see what's going on. Here we go. Gemini. Get a five of pentacles. All right, so who's not talking? Um, can be you and this person, of course, feeling isolated right now. Okay. Now, this is going to be temporary. Okay. Five is uh, an energy where, you know, like you will graduate because it's so difficult to understand. Like it, uh, this is uh, pushing you to your limit also. Five of Pentacles has that, uh, you know, like, like that. it's like, no, you gotta, you know, it's like, we gotta work this out. You know, it's like, we can't stay quiet for so long as a Five of Pentacles. The energy of the Five of Pentacles also is understanding that both are in the losing end. Same thing as the Five of Swords. If you guys are fighting, then chances are, you know, with the Five of Swords, you know, let's just give an example, um, nobody wins. Um, if both are not talking to each other, nobody wins. No clarity. Um, so now, if there's no clarity, both will seek. Uh, seek. One person will, at least. And the other person is the one who's expecting for, you know, the other person to reach out. So that's that one. See. Then you have your the moon card. Okay. So the luminaries are coming towards you. Correct. Um, it's July 2nd when uh, you know the sun and moon will be in Gemini. Rahu is going to be there. Venus is going to be there. It's a shebang. Um, and at the same time, the sun. Okay. So this whole no communication, it won't be for long. It's gonna break the two of you, or it's gonna be putting the two of you. But it's gonna break what is um, basically it's not healthy in the relationship. This is breaking down the walls between the two of you, because the moon, okay, has to you know this is our thoughts, this is our mind, this is how we think, this is how we feel, okay, and this is what we need. So someone is here asking, basically needing to communicate to you. That's the moon. The moon reflects also the mom energy. You know, it can be your mom. You're probably not even talking to your mom. So talk to your mom. Okay, just letting you know. And astro in Vedic uh, astrology, the moon is our mom. Empress. Oh, the mom, definitely. Talk to your mom. Okay. Let's give you a heads up. Venus and Gemini, of course. Um, having the Empress card over here, someone wants to speak of love. Okay, partnership. This is deep connection. Yes. Relationship is going to be given to you. Yes, can be because it's a transit, you know, um, depending on your dasha and bhakti, of course. The Empress uh, shows the energy that, you know, things just go with the flow and they get everything that they want. Um, it can be how this person is. If this is a moon in Taurus or a moon in Libra, okay, moon in Taurus, 
um, you might feel like this person is a little bit um, detached, but they love you already. That detachment, they already love you. <laughs> um, but they will appear to be very, uh, you know, stable in a relationship, very ideal. If it's a moon in Libra, okay, um, it's a little bit uh, difficult because Venus and Moon together, it brings um, pleasure and needs at the same time. So it's very erratic, okay. Um, erratic with regards to, you know, Venus trying to make diplomatic, um, you know, uh, decision and choices. And then basically the moon is saying, it's like, no, I want this, I need this, okay. The moon can be unreasonable because it goes to a different phases every time. It's hard to catch up with someone who has this, uh, you know, combination because they always change their emotion and feelings. Someday they want you, someday they don't. Next to the Empress. Got, ooh, Emperor. Hello, Daddy. Now that's what we're talking about. The luminaries. Okay. Well, the luminaries are just, you know, it's like the sun and the moon over there. But this is the yin and yang. Okay. The yin and yangers. Okay. If it's the luminaries, the yin and yangers. The person that you have been connecting with is your, well, if it, it's a perfect match. Both of you are just not talking to each other. Is it going to be a missed opportunity? We don't know. Um, the emperor, the emperor showing here. They're distant. I told you. They're cold. I told you. Even before we have drawn the card, the emperor shows a uh, person is stern. Always like you. Both of you could be probably taking care of your career. You're taking care of family. They have a lot of things going on business wise. A business minded person always thinks about their career. Emperor, work always. Never really get, you know like they don't talk to you because they got a lot of ambition. A very ambitious person is an emperor. They see, you know, kingdoms and building and houses, you know. This can be a person who's into construction at the same time. Hello, daddy, right? And the empress is into beauty. Hello, empress, right? <laughs> so it's a perfect fit. But there's no time for relationship. How does that work? Well, both just stuck in the face of the moon, not knowing what's going to happen next. Exactly, right? Mm -hmm. Let me see. Emperor shows, of course, it's an energy. Like, these are late 30s, 40-ish. If it's not about the age, it's the vibration of the a person. Okay. Emperor is can be working for the government, you know, is in the military, has served, you know, Navy, Air Force. Normally, those are the energy. A team leader. Empress is baby, so be careful. Nine of Swords. This whole no communication between the two of you brings anxiety and stress. Rahu in Gemini already is stressing you out because you can't see through the situation for the past year. You have sleepless nights, overthinking. Why they haven't texted me? Why they haven't talked to me? Why they haven't opened up to you? Nine of Swords also, okay, showing that there's a battle between the two of you with regards to ego. Don't ask me why. I'm going traditional. Okay, there's a traditional way of it. Uh, there's regrets if there was a fight. There's regret, you know. There's uh, horrific energy every time you guys ignore each other. Three of Cups. You've been thinking maybe they have someone else already. Maybe they're out talking to someone else. Three of Cups. They're out with their friends and they haven't been talking to you. Social media, they're present in their Instagram. You know, they're present in their... I don't know, Snapchat, Twitter, Reddit, whatever, Quora. They've been posting everything online, okay? But the thing that they haven't posted is in your inbox. That's true. First card is strongest. The world card. Things has about to change. It's right here. Saturn is in Sag. Whatever is on hold is during the retrograde. Saturn is in retrograde, yes? In your seventh house, right, Gemini? And K2 is over there. So things has to be cut off and learned, you know, between the two of you. This is a deep, uh, when I say deep, because um, it's in your seventh house, Saturn ruler of karma, it's right here. Fixed sign, Aquarius, Taurus, Leo, Scorpio. The person that you're dealing with, you'll be dealing with this person for quite a long time. Is it karmic? Yes. What is karmic? Person that you deal with a long time. Everybody that you meet is karmic. It just depends how long you're going to be there with them. Saturn is um, re representing, you know, um, the elderly. You will be with this person till the dawn of time. Till both of you have white hairs. White hairs are happening. Just saying. Okay. <laughs> happening to me. Okay. The king of wands. Aries energy. Or a Sag. Which is your natural seven. They're about to take action. They're using cash vibes. King of wands is very cash. Yes. 
Gigolo, yes. Player? Mm. I don't think so. But I like to flirt though, a lot. The devil, ooh -hoo. and that's where we end right there. Mm -hmm. King of Wands with a devil card. I'm gonna continue this reading. Let's see the spiciness of this person. It was trying to argue with me if they're a gigolo or not. Let's see, okay. What kind of addiction this person have. Can be about you or it can be about someone else because there was a three of cups. But the world card is about saying like those has to change. Alrighty. Link down there in the description box for the extended. Um, at the same time, two Saturn cards. It is because the world card with the devil card can be also there's no other third party. But it is a hard lesson that you will learn because this person will be with you. Like with the Emperor and Empress for a long time, maybe the forever part. I'll see you guys again. Have a wonderful day, bye.